hello everyone in this video we will discuss half subtractor and full subtractor for half subtractor we will discuss its function table its boolean expression and logic circuit so uh, the truth table is pretty simple it's um, just like uh, a half adder it has two inputs a and b and two outputs first output is difference and second output is borrow so uh, if we need to take a borrow, then borrow is 1. If we do not need to uh, take a borrow, then borrow is 0. So if borrow required, then 1. If not, then 0. So let's see how to interpret this truth table. So for first row, uh, we will use, let's say, A minus B. So uh, 0 minus 0, difference is 0. And we... Uh, didn't need to take any borrow for second row if 0 minus 1 and 0 is smaller number 1 is larger number so we need to take a borrow and you know uh, for a borrow the value or magnitude of borrow is 2 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so in this case difference is 1 and we took a borrow so borrow is also 1 in third row, 1 minus 0 is 1 and no borrow. 1 minus 1 is 0 and borrow is also 0. So we can implement this circuit as well, uh, this truth table to ex uh, in the form of circuit uh, by extracting its uh, Boolean expressions. So there are two outputs difference. Let's say we write a D and borrow B. So d here and it's b so for first output b d sorry for difference so it's just like an xr function xr gate 0 0 0 and 1 1 0 if both inputs are same then 0 if both inputs are different then 1 so for d it's pretty straightforward a xr b and for borrow, there is only one, uh, one in this whole column. So the concerned main terms are 0, 1. So for B, we write A complement B. A complement B. It's pretty simple and easy. So we have two expressions, A, X, R, B. And for borrow, we have a complement B. So this is a circuit diagram for these two expressions. D, we use XR gate and takes A and B. And for borrow, there is one uh, NOT gate for complement and one AND gate. So if we put it in a box, it is our half subtractor, just like our half header. Full subtractor, so let's see its function table, expression, or logic uh, circuit. Before that, let's understand how to implement the function table or truth table of a full adder. Full adder, full subtractor, sorry, full subtractor can also be implemented by adding two half subtractors. So, full subtractor is equal to half subtractor plus another half subtractor. So, let's say this is first half step uh, subtractor this is second half subtractor or hs so now we have three inputs one x and y are our data or bit inputs and z is a bar so for first we need to compute x minus y which is equal to d here so let's say I call it D1 and this is D2. So here is D1 and borrow from half adder. So Z also come as a, comes as second input of our second subtractor here. And D1 comes from here. So then D1 minus Z. So D2 is our final difference. So from here we compute D1 minus Z is equal to 
d2 is our actual final difference and second borrow and the first borrow they both are uh, fed to an R gate and then we get our actual borrow so if we have three inputs in this case x y and z then by combining the functionality of these two half subtractor we can evaluate it like x minus y minus z is equal to our final difference d so by using this method or approach we can interpret and create a, a function table or truth table for our full adder so here is function table of our full adder we have two inputs a and b and c is our borrow input here it's our borrow input but for simplification we wrote it as c our outputs are just like half subtractor which are difference and borrow so we will interpret this table just like a minus b and their difference let's say d minus c and then on the basis of d minus c we can populate difference and borrow so let's see how this works from first row 0 minus 0 0 no uh, no borrow needed 0 then again 0 minus 0 different 0 borrow 0 second row 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 and now 0 minus 1 so for 0 minus 1 we need to take a borrow 1 which has a magnitude of 2 and 2 minus 1 is 1 so difference 1 and borrow 1 0 minus 1 is equal to 1 and we took a borrow so borrow is 1 again and 1 minus 0 here is equal to 1 so completed 0 minus 1 is equal to 1 and 1 borrow taken here and 1 minus 1 is 0 and our difference is 0 next row 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 and 1 minus 0 is equal to this one and no borrow was taken so uh, 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and no borrow was needed 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 difference and no borrow 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and 0 minus 1 for 0 minus 1 we need a borrow so borrow is 1 and borrow contains a magnitude of 2 2 minus 1 is 1 so our difference is 1 so this is how we can populate or interpret this function table for our full subtractor after writing or completing the function table we can use our uh, main terms or sum of products to write down its uh, boolean expressions so similar to full adder we have two outputs difference d and borrow b and we have four ones against difference and again four ones for borrow and let's say how to write them for difference i write d is equal to we have 0 0 1 so it's a complement b complement c plus next one is 0 1 0 a complement b c complement plus 1 0 0 a b complement c complement plus the last one is 1 1 1 a b and c this is sum of products by adding main terms for d so for b we can write first one is here so it's a complement b complement c a complement b complement c plus second one a complement 
BC complement plus third one A complement B and C plus the last one which is A B and C. So this is the uh, expression in the terms of uh, sum of products for borrow. We can further simplify these two expressions to find out most optimal expressions. So here there are four main terms against difference. The simplification is just like full adder. We uh, take common A complement from first two uh, main terms and A is common uh, between last two terms. Uh, A B complement C plus B C complement is equal to B X or C and similarly B complement C complement plus B C is equal to B X or C whole complement. So by simplifying these with uh, some uh, single symbol this is again equal to A complement B complement uh, sorry A X R B X R C. So difference is similar to full adder which is equal to full adder expression and simplification method is also uh, same. For bar expression there are four main terms we have just computed from our truth table. So after simplification we found uh, we find that uh, only three terms with two variables remain. For that purpose we used uh, a K map for simplification which we know already. So there were three groups one vertically and two horizontally and if there are three groups then there should be three terms and in case of group of two each term would have two variables. So we have three uh, terms which are separated with R. So these two expressions can be used to draw the circuit for our full adder. So let's say this is a circuit diagram of our full adder D is performing A, X, R, B, X, R, C and you see there are inputs A, B and C and X, R gate is taking all these three inputs A, B and C and difference is computed and for um, borrow we are using three AND gates because we have three um, uh, products and one R gate they are all summing up to become a single borrow B. So the circuit is pretty simple. If we put it in a box then we have a full subtractor which takes three inputs A, B and C and produces two outputs difference and borrow. So for higher or larger numbers for example if uh, we want to add, we want to subtract two four bit numbers just like full adders we need to attach full subtractors in parallel. So here is a sample diagram for a four bit parallel subtractor. Uh, 